Hi, it's Margo and it's Feel Good Friday. Woohoo! Oh, so happy to be here with you today. Thank you for being here. I just love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hey, so I think today's episode 50. Can you imagine that I have done this 50 weeks in a row? I'm so proud of myself. Oh my gosh. And for those of you who've been here every week, I just love you so much. And those of you who just came along on the way, I love you too. Let's, it's such a great journey we've been on. And those of you who've been following along, you know my life is not easy. I've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, there's been a lot happen to me over the last 50 weeks, right? Um, I, I had five plane tickets canceled in Mexico. I lost my job. I started a new job. Um, I helped, I moved, I helped my mom move three times. And, and then I moved into this house. If you've been following around along, there was a week when this room had nothing but empty boxes in it. No furniture, or not empty boxes, full boxes. And, um, and the week I moved into my house, my mom was in the emergency room three times <laughs> that week. And so, you know, and then of course, those of you who've been really following along, you know, I even made a video the day my mom died. Bless her heart. Her birthday's coming up, which is actually the one year anniversary. You can't make this stuff up of the Feel Good Friday videos. So I just, today it's all about appreciation. I just want to thank so many people for being here with me. Give yourself a big hug. And just for fun, right here, that's a, that's a, a good spot to, to massage yourself. Um, in Chinese traditional medicine, that's a spot that dispels fear. And in our current world, this part didn't used to hurt people. Now it does, and you know why? Because of our damn phones. And, and we didn't used to have that spot. As a massage therapist, I can tell you, people didn't used to be sore there. And now they are. So one of the things you can do that feels good is hug yourself and, while you squeeze and massage that whole area there, little cutie. What a little cutie you are, right? So, and, and I still got stuff going on. I spent this last week uh, down helping a dear, dear friend who's, who's, um, who's got Parkinson's and some other stuff going on. And, and uh, it was a stressful um, time, a lovely time. So grateful that I could be there and can help and, and, and all these kinds of things. But when I drove away from there after being there for five days, I had a choice. You know, I had earned the right. <laughs> I earned the right to drive home going, oh my God, this is awful. This is terrible. Poor everybody, poor me, poor them, poor everybody. Um, you know, playing the conversations out uh, in my head for the two hour drive home, right? That was my right. I earned that right. But you know what? It doesn't help. And so you know what I did instead? <laughs> I did Evo sizes all the way home. I mean, all the way home. I uh, I put on Jerry Garcia. I have a playlist on my Spotify called How Sweet It Is. And it's all the really positive, loving songs that Jerry wrote. Uh, my my favorite, favorite, favorites. And it's a great driving tune one. And it, I know the songs really well, so I can sing it at the top of my lungs. And I had a timer going off to remind me to do something, anything that felt good every five minutes for two hours. I mean, every five minutes. I was doing something, anything ah, that feels good. And you can imagine how great my hair looked by the time I got home, right? <laughs> and um, 
this is something you can do, right? So let's do, if you aren't already doing it, prop up your phone, get your hands free. Let's do some really good evil sizes. Just really make it count. You can even do one side at a time and do it more thoroughly. And when you drag it down, kind of flap your ears down when you do it. That's, that's effective. And then, of course, don't forget to drag it down your... Throw. Oh, Hilly. <laughs> Don't forget to drag it down your throat because it's it's real chemistry going into your lymphatic system and dragging it down like this takes it directly into the heart. And so, oh, stop for a moment and notice how delicious that feels, right? And so that's the real key of my feel-good way is doing it frequently, frequently, frequently. And you don't have to do this every time. I've shown you lots of other things that feel good. Stretching is especially feel goody. And, um, and by the time I got an hour away, I said, oh my God, it's a gorgeous day, yay! I was feeling really good. I've been singing and having a good time. Nary a thought of this you know, issue that was big in my life, that is big in my life. I'll think about it when it's appropriate, but it's not necessarily to have this stuff going around and around and around in our heads, right? Another thing that I did on that drive is I made sure that I was in good posture because when we're in bad posture, which is easy to do when you're in a car, right? Um, it's easier for your brain to not feel good. And so I use what I call my posture rolls. We're going to pull in this chair and, and I'm going to show you. These are just rolled up towels. It's one towel cut in half. This one's folded in thirds. This one's folded in half so that they're different widths and lengths, as you can see. And the fatter one is the one that goes in your low back. So some of you already know this, but my feel good way isn't just about stress. It's about chronic pain. And between the chronic pain and the chronic stress the stuff that I teach, it really works for a lot of other things too. But I really like to get it, you know, out there that this isn't just about fun and games and how to feel good when you're partying and stuff like that. No, this is for the tough stuff and this is for healing things that are have been wrong with you for a long time. So, um, so what I do is... Um, when I teach my Feel Good Way classes, and the first time I mention posture, every single person in the room is usually sitting something like this. So you can just tell from looking at me that this is not going to be good in the long run, right? And even the yoga teachers and the chiropractors and stuff, they're in bad posture. And so, and they start squirming around and feeling guilty because they know it's not good for them, right? So. Then I show them, uh, this is something I call spinal molding. And so you put your butt as far back in the chair as you can. Your feet are um, underneath your knees, about hip width apart, and your knees are straight out from your hips. And you sit your butt back as far in the chair as you can. And then you put the fatter one in your low back. And what that actually does is it just... I, I'm not leaning on it and I'm not leaning over it. What it's doing is just kind of filling up space and making that back curve the way it's supposed to. And then my spine works better. And by sitting with just the lower one in place, you know, for about 20 minutes at a time when you're sitting anyway, right? We're, we spend a lot of time sitting. You're actually strengthening the muscles that give you good posture. And then after about 20 minutes of doing it, which you, I can tell you right now, you can't sit for 20 minutes in good posture without something like this helping you. And then if you still want to be sitting 20 minutes later and you want to rest, then you put the second one lengthwise down your spine. And now I can lean back, but with my low back um, curved and my shoulders open, this is 
so important in my feel good way. So I keep a set of these in my car. So there I am driving down the road in good posture, singing at the top of my lungs, evil sizing like a big dog. And I had that I had a blast. I had a blast. And I stopped and had a nice hike and and Lily got to run around in the in the countryside. It was just a lovely drive home. And it could have been nah, 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 nah. I earned that, but I don't deserve it, right? So time for a little Jerry Garcia dance party. So um if you uh are sitting down, get your butt up and get your hands free and let's dance. Let's dance. And um, I'm gonna be doing some self-massage techniques and some stretching and I want you to kind of mirror what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do the right side. So you just do the right side too and we'll check it out later. Are we ready? Here we go, Jimmy! Uh, notice I'm using two hands, and I'm also just planting my hands. <laughs> you know you could have been a candle. I'm holding you so tight. You know you could have been a handle. The way you swept me off my feet. You know you could have been a broom. Stick your chest because that's part of what's keeping you in bad posture. And reach back here, get as much of it as you can. You, you use your second hand, you can really see this is how far I can go without it. Then with the second hand, I can really get down into that part that people are always wanting me to get when they're on the massage table, right? I just love dancing with you. Like I said, this whole front of the shoulder, all of this right here, you're gonna be surprised at how much that feels good in a feel bad sort of way. <laughs> and your hands are something, wringing your hands whenever you you know what, that's a feel-good thing right there, right? And then don't forget to drag it up towards your heart. And then wipe it off. Get rid of what you don't need. Woo! Get rid of what you don't need. Now watch this trick. You made my life so rich. You know you could have been some money. And maybe you're so sweet. Way you do the things you do. The way you 
I love you, I love you. Um, if anybody's got any ideas of how we can celebrate mom's birthday and the year anniversary of my feel good way, let me know. We should do something really fun that day. I just love being here with you. Thanks for everything you do for me and, and um, you know, spread the word. You don't know who needs to hear this stuff. So many people struggling right now. So let's spread my feel good way. Far and wide. Mwah. Adios, mi amores. Te quiero mucho. <laughs>